hustling it. Hey. Junior, Red. You guys ready? Excited? Hunting coach, don't know any other way. Yes, sir. Can't wait. Good. Like we spoke about in practice, conference is tough this year. We got high expectations in the media. But if we win more than we lose, we should be situated pretty well come tournament time. But tonight, it's midnight mania. All right? All right. It's a celebration. Everybody on this team has sacrificed a lot to get here. So you put on a show for those fans. All right? Enjoy it. All right. Hey, Junior, I just want to just want to say this to you. I'm, I'm a huge fan of your father. Duke's leadership embodied everything college basketball is about. Thanks, Coach. Have fun out there. Ah, no, no, no. Bring that back. Okay, look, this is what I'm going to say. I'm going to say stay humble, and we go bump. you go going to say stay hungry, and you're not feeling it. Nah, man. I can't see myself committing to that. Okay, okay. <laughs> open brainstorm. It's the first pass. Nervous, Rick? I'm terrified. It's going to be all right, man. I'm receiving your energy. You are a weird dude, man. I hear that a lot. Uh, stay humble, stay hungry. Oh, yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, let's bring it in. Little luck, y'all, come on, come on. Talk to him, Red. Hey, y'all, I'm gonna keep it short. Today sets the tone. So let's go out there and get these fans a season that they can look forward to, okay? Break it down, Junior, come on. All right, y'all, family on three. One, two, three, family.
Okay, you know, that boom feels like a little much. You win I every say? time. Well, then maybe winning should feel like less of an every event. Every time just... feels like the first time. Boom! Yo, y'all up for some doubles? Hey, yo, Lula, no, I'm not good at this game. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. <laughs> I'm always ready to take the basketball team down a peg. <laughs> Why you say that? Okay. Because, you know. I don't, do you? Yeah, they think we walk around like we own the place. Because everyone treats you like you do. Boom! Yeah. Oh, I see. I told you I was bad at this game. Now I'm starting to live up to it. <laughs> All right. I don't act like that. Because you're new. You'll change. Wait, oh, you act like that, Rip? I'm not yet, but apparently it's fate. But who am I to argue with fate? Wait, oh, oh, come God, on, man. Doing that. Yes. All right, look. Uh-uh. <laughs> Serious. Big game coming up, boys. First game, right? You nervous? Yeah. <laughs> College is a new game. It's a big step, but my dad taught me to respect it. Oh, Ellie, hey, we gotta get to practice. Oh, that's because I was winning. You wanted to walk out like yeah, that? Yeah, sure. What's your name? Next time. Junior. Hey, uh, what if, um, what if we win this next game and me and you do something together? And if you lose? <laughs> then we don't. Me after your game. So when's the wedding? You were just scared to say so. <laughs> Ellie. Welcome everyone to our presentation of college basketball brought to you by 2K Sports. Tonight it'll be the Syracuse Orange going up against the UCLA Bruins. Here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, I'm Forrest Hunt. Looking forward to a hard fought contest in this one. Well, you know, that's the beauty of college basketball in my mind. These players have so much youthful exuberance. They can go all out for every game of the season. And because the season's not as long, that plays into it as well. Yeah, the stamina of a lot of these younger guys can seem bottomless, which only makes these games even more exciting to watch. Outside West. Pass to Wolf from downtown. Sheldon grabs the miss. You guys, when you look at the stretch UCLA had in the 60s and 70s, it all came from having dominant centers. Lou Alcindor, now known as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, he was followed by Bill Walton, an equally dominant force. Both were great pros, but in college, they were on another level. Outside Miller, pass to Wolf. Here's James. 16 feet out, and that's off the glass and in. And knocking down shots in the mid-range area really forces teams to have to adjust their defense. Well, with a stroke like that and the height advantage as well, mid-range J is almost a gimme. 
about that cloth soft touch? I mean, just a gentle little teardrop, almost like a falling leaf. A leaf falling down slowly to the ground. Very sweet and colorful, too. Pass the wolf. Starts with it. Here's Miller. No good on the three. Now Junior. Six points for him. Now here's Sheldon. Yes! And it's Junior picking up the assist. Showing he has the ability to read a defense. Junior, fantastic pass to set up a teammate. Well, you know, the Orange have one title for all their success in college hoops, and they've had plenty over the years. They got it done in 2003, crowned as champions. Mello led the way. It was an absolutely fantastic tournament run, and really was a crowning achievement for the program. Banked it up the glass. Perfect four for four for him to start this game out. Yeah, he's looking good. He's got a nice bounce in his step to start. Foul called that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. It's going to go on Miller. You know, what I like most about Junior is how he stays confident, composed, and focused. I mean, even when he's going through a tough stretch, for a young player that's just developing, he's got a lot of self-confidence. And, and you guys, beyond Mello, there were a handful of other players on that team that would go on to play pro ball. They beat some tough teams in the tournament as well. It was a long-awaited moment for Orange fans. Those who were around will never forget that 2003 team. Pass to Nelson. Starts with it. Outside West. Here's Miller. And again, it's the Orange missing. The Bruins with the lead. Well, when you win as much as UCLA has in the past and currently, it starts with talent. UCLA has always been great at producing NBA players. Take a look at all the former Bruins in the NBA, and it indeed is an impressive list. And some of the big stars in the NBA today are Bruins. Guys like Westbrook, Love, and Lonzo Ball. No matter what the era is, you know UCLA is going to have NBA-level talent. And the orange call time here. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. Outside Miller. Dean on the wing. Over Junior. Dean can't get it to go. Here's Adams. Good. And the assist goes to Junior. Well, they've done a great job of getting into the middle of that defense and scoring in the paint. And that's why they're on this run. You get that close to the hoop, and it's a lot easier to make shots. Pass to Dennis. Miller. Dean. Covered by Junior. It's Nelson on the wing. Six on the shot clock. Back to Dean. They need this. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Hey, man, no hesitation by Dean there. The moment the Orange get him the rock, he's ready to let it fly and knock it down. Well, it's all about winning for UCLA. They own the record for the most titles in college hoops. An incredible 11 championship banners at their gym. Building up a big early lead, they have taken charge of this game. Well, we've got to be careful. Don't want to get ahead of ourselves just yet. Pretty ugly so far, no doubt about that. Out of bounds, orange ball as Syracuse keeps possession. And all those titles add such a mystique to the Bruins basketball program. Well, it was one of the most dominant eras in any sport at any level. Bruins won most of their titles in the 60s and 70s, and at one point, they won seven straight and 10 titles in 12 years, never to be repeated. Pass to Wolf. Here's James. Covered by Adams. To the middle. Starks, his shot is good. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. It's Jones on the wing. 
Jr. Starts with the block. Outside Miller. And stolen by Jr. And they're on the break. Syracuse has one title to its name, but a lot of near misses too. Clearly, you look at the tournament history for the Orange, a lot of highs and lows for sure. Outside West, and West gets the double team. Wolf, the three-pointer no good. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, Greg, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it, gritty and, and rough. But that's how you win games. Side West. to West for three. Adams with the rebound. And here's UCLA. They have a 22-point lead, and that's the most they've led by. Junior drives in, and that one drops. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Over to the left wing. The open shot by Miller. It's the jumper in space. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. Here's Junior, and the dunk by Junior. And once Junior spots a lane, it's all over. Flies inside and goes right over the defense for a big dunk. Junior with the block. He recovers it. A dominating first half of play, and so far, it hasn't been close. about halfway through what have you seen from junior thus far he's in a tremendous rhythm offensively the defense trying everything they can to slow him down to no avail hey and he's confident to begin with now when he gets on a roll like this best of luck to you bring help and plenty of it make somebody else beat you is the strategy and you know the freshman from newark they call him junior he was a football player for a few years but then switched to basketball his senior year in high school Getting an invite to play with this program seems like a good switch for him. And you see the talent that Junior already has. It makes you wonder why he didn't switch from football sooner. And you can't ignore the strength that Junior shows on the court. The nuance of the game will just come with time. But this program sees something in him and feels he could be a blue chip prospect. Pass to Wolf. West, he's covered by Thompson. Now here's West. He's been patient so far, nothing yet on the scoreboard. Just five on the clock. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. It's going to go on Miller. You have to display disciplined defense against Junior. You don't want to bail out guys with his kind of skill set. Well, UCLA has one of the richest histories of any school in college hoops. The wins, the legacies they've created. Hard for any other school to match the lore that UCLA has. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. you got to be tougher defensively. Junior drives in. And the dunk by Junior. You gotta appreciate about Junior. He never lets his foot off the pedal. Just a machine out there. And some can argue, you guys, that UCLA is still the name in college hoops. You know, that's certainly the case on the West Coast. I mean, the UCLA Bruins have an easy time including top talent because of their great pedigree and history. The prestige of the program is something that I don't think will ever fade. the foul called on Judy. He's 0 for 1 at the line, missing on his first trip. At the line for your Bruins, Dante Pavin. <laughs> and 
and stolen by Junior. You can't stop it. Rebound Syracuse. Miller with it. He's got five. Dennis. No good with the triple. Well, for a long time, Syracuse has been a major player in college hoops. They've been a tough competitor since the 70s. Very rarely will they not be a presence in the tournament at the end of the season. It's basically been all him. I mean, he scored most of the points himself. Here's Starks. The lead pass was put just in the right spot to produce the layup. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. As you said with the Orange, they've been successful for decades. When you think about program cornerstones, you've got to thank Dave Bing for the Syracuse Orange. I mean, this Hall of Famer spent three years with the Orange and was dominant in his time. I really believe he laid the first foundational bricks for what became an outstanding basketball program at Syracuse. Here's Wolf. Back to Miller. The three ball drills the three-pointer. I'm not sure who was supposed to pick him up, but somebody's going to get an earful from the coach for leaving him that wide open. The drive by Junior, and Junior throws it down. Solid by Junior on the pick and roll. Growing up playing on the streets of New York, I'm sure he ran pick and roll for days. Pass to Wolf. And here's West. Here's Wolf. Now here's Dennis. Miller. Here's Starks. Junior grabs the miss. And you guys, Junior being named a starter for this team right off the bat. Did that catch you off guard, or did you see that coming? Well, there isn't a doubt that Junior will be great eventually. There's an argument to be made that he should have been eased into big minutes, but Coach trusted the impact that Junior has on the floor from the get-go. Junior outside. keep it going here's Adams laid in with a nice touch off the glass it's never easy trying to keep him off the glass he's an absolute beast down there and the foul called on Junior that'll be his second foul of the game both teams will make substitutions coming onto the floor for your Bruins here's Jackson pass to Thompson he tries a three the rebound by Buckets. This could get even more out of hand if they continue to put up points. What a performance we are seeing. And Junior gets it to go. Important at this stage for Junior to show he can score from anywhere on the floor. The mid-range jumper rounds out his game nicely. All alone. And the dunk by Junior. the orange with possession here well this marks the first contest with the school for junior he hasn't been playing organized ball for too long but he has learned very quickly hey there's no denying it he's a bit raw without question but the coaching staff thinks he'll improve rapidly the athleticism and the skill evident and obvious just a matter of time before he smooths it out you got to remember now he only played one year in high school Here's Jackson. Thompson up top. Pass to Powers. Will it go? The rebound by Buckets. Boy, even though he missed, you can't give up that kind of a look very often. The better to be lucky than good sometimes. Fortunately, they didn't get burned on that one. Boy, Junior does a nice job with the pump face. Really hard to predict when he's going to get that defender off balance. Good on both. And the orange with possession here. And here's Sanders. Here's Jackson. Pass to Thompson. Fires the three. 
And again, it's the orange missing. Now Junior. Carter, Sanders defending. Here's Junior outside. The Bruins rebound. Snatched down the long bounce and got him another possession. No luck on that, that one. And Syracuse will come the other way. In college basketball, rankings are everything. Do you guys have a preference between a scrappy underdog or a dominant top seed? I got to go with that powerhouse top seed team. There's a reason those teams earn that ranking through the course of the regular season. I love the unpredictability of these games. Always fun to see an underdog team defy expectations and grab the W. And I'll bet his percentage is pretty high from that range. The drive by Junior. On the drive, Junior's athleticism puts the defense off balance. They get sloppy and he nabs a foul while getting the shot off. And he's good on the second. Here's Powers, covered by Junior. Here's Jackson. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Well, this is what they needed earlier on. At some point, it's too little, too late. Yeah, I agree with you. They needed this a lot sooner than they got it. Pass to Carter. Back to Junior. Here's the three. And so it's the Bruins taking care of business in this one. You know, I thought the activity of Junior really set the tone. Great anticipation defensively, jumping, passing lanes, and basically being very disruptive out there. He completely disrupted their offensive flow. Put them in protect mode, and it's tough to win when you're playing on your heels. And obviously, those steals leading to the early offense as well. And that concludes our broadcast. Thanks for being with us. Catch you next time. It's a good win, Junior. Now I'm focused on is getting us to the tournament. Hey, that's why we brought you here. Play the game the right way. The guys in this locker room, they really respect that. This team needs a leader right now. All right? Hey, listen to me. This team will go as far as you take us. We're going to need you to own that, all right? Yes, sir. Good job. Thanks, Coach. Dip in my makeup, hit an axe for a favor. I need the money and clothes, the flashy cars and the jewels. All these rappers are screwed. Flashing lights and I pose on the road to give you my soul. Hold on, all the fans screaming names, ain't name your fans, ain't for days, amen. Never been on my level, not pushing tits, how you in trouble? Trouble. You my money is flipping, these racks is tripping. Numbers don't lie, why my ass all hanging? Coach, have to say. Uh, nothing really. He likes what we're at. Keep those numbers up in your draft position gonna be sitting pretty too, right? Nice. Well, I'm saying you want to play on a higher level, right? I don't care if it's football, basketball, anything. I don't even care if it's one of the top leagues. We're still talking about all stars from every state, every country for the last 15 years. There is no let up. You gotta be ready for that. Man, what makes you think I'm not ready? Just asking me that question tells me you're not ready. Because I'm not afraid enough? That's better as a start. That's right, because outperforming just your teammates, that's not going to cut it no more, right? What happens when you feel overwhelmed? Because that's going to happen. What happens when you feel like it's just not clicking? What do we do then? Work when you're on the clock ain't work. Thank you. Okay, so you do listen sometimes. All right, not wasting my time. Look, son. Good to see you, dude. Respect. Thanks, young man. Look. Your ceiling is sky high. I believe in you with everything I got, but you gotta believe in yourself. You gotta believe in your talents, and you gotta show commitment if you wanna cash in on this. I am committed. All right, I believe that. I believe that, but I also know there's always more for us to do. Always. Let's go.